Planks of uniformed and armoured military figures, stripped of their badges and ID tags, converged on protesters. It sounds like something you'd see from Russia, but instead it is happening in the supposedly liberal democracy of Canada. The Irish government goes through the tyranny in Canada. Welcome to Canada Wide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's have a listen to the Irish government on how they are upset with what's going on in Canada a year ago. We recognize the interconnectivity of the countries of Europe and the world at large, and that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We've had calls in this house to address serious human rights. Leader, Ireland has always been at the forefront of speaking up for those who have been oppressed. We recognize the interconnectivity of the countries of Europe and the world at large, and that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We've had calls in this House to address serious human rights abuses occurring in all places over the world, from China in the East to here in the West, and addressing the issues in our own country as well. So I find it odd that we've heard nothing of what has been a well-publicised, high-profile, peaceful protest being violently suppressed and dispersed by armed government forces. Ranks of uniformed and armoured military figures, stripped of their badges and ID tags, converged on protesters. An officer on horseback trampled over a disabled woman. Around 200 arrests were made and over 60 vehicles seized by the state. Whatever happened to Candace Saros? Because she is the woman in this picture there in red that is blurred out. And she was going to make a, like a Mohawk war at that time. And then after it just sort of nothing ever happened. There was a picture of her in the hospital with a Tim Hortons cup, I recall, after that. And then after that, never saw her again. Let's uh, keep watching. It sounds like something you'd see from Russia or actions which we'd condemn in Hungary or Poland. But instead, it is happening in the supposedly liberal democracy of Canada. And so no condemnation has been forthcoming. In order to legally permit this level of force, Minister Prime Minister Trudeau invoked the Emergency Act of 1988, the first time this, this act has ever been used since it replaced the War Measure Act of 1914. And not being satisfied with merely dispersing protesters, the state froze the finances associated with certain individuals and companies believed to be involved in the protests. These are people who committed no crime, who has been not convicted lawfully in court, and who the government decided to punish anyway, because they might have been connected with a protest which was inconvenient to the government. It was an unprecedented act by the state against its citizens, which should be roundly condemned. And so, Leader, I'm asking you to write to the Canadian Ambassador, Nancy Smith, and condemn the excessive force used by the government on the overreach that is happening there to its citizens. Authoritarianism is a threat to democracy, no matter whose foot the boot is on. Brought up um, the protests in Canada, and I'll try and organise that debate maybe on a Thursday afternoon in the next couple of weeks, because I think it would be interesting actually to see uh, and to bring forward, because you are right, I think you said it, you mentioned it last week, there was very little uh, coverage of it, uh, and maybe it's a good time to... There you go, and the Irish government had to stand up and say something about what is going on in Canada at that time. And there were a couple of other countries. It was Yugoslavia and that Turkish guy, too, as well, that mentioned stuff at the United Nations. And those were the countries outside of Canada because of the censorship that was going on and the War Act and the closing of the counts at that time. So it never really got much better after when she made that. And uh, it was still after that, finally after some judge has come up and ruled it unconstitutional. Anyway, thanks for watching. Best of goodbyes. See you in the next video.